This is the ignition coil off of a uh, Honda GC190 uh, single cylinder four stroke engine. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the resistance of the primary and secondary circuit found in this coil. The uh, manufacturer of this coil is uh, P H E L O N. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Felon or, or Felon. Um, the part number is 30500-Z0J-0031. Um, the reason I'm giving you the uh, uh, manufacturer and the part number for this coil is because uh, I cannot find this coil in the current Honda uh, shop manual for the GC190 or in any of the supplements that were included with the manual. Um, Honda used several different coils over the years and they list two different coils in the uh, shop manual and the supplements but this coil doesn't match any of the photos or any of the specs. I tried calling the uh, manufacturer of the coil, but uh, they weren't willing to give me the, uh, the specs for the coil. So I thought I'd do a video and um, measure the resistance for the primary and secondary circuit and uh, show you what I get on a known good coil. Uh, to measure the resistance of the primary and secondary circuit, I'll be using this Craftsman Professional uh, Multimeter set to the uh, ohm setting. I think the model number is 73756. Alright, so to start I'm going to measure the resistance of the primary circuit. So I'm going to turn my meter on, set it to the ohm function, and uh, this meter will automatically adjust the range so I don't need to worry about that. Um, then I'm going to take one of the leads and I'm going to touch the leads on this uh, laminated iron core here and the other lead on this tab for the uh, kill switch wire and uh, measure the resistance. So take the negative lead, put it on the iron core, and touch that uh, tab and I'm getting about a 1.6, 1.7 ohm uh, resistance for the primary uh, circuit. Next I'm going to measure the uh, secondary circuit and I'm going to do the same thing, uh, touch one of the leads on the laminated iron core and then take the other lead and touch it to the end of the spark plug wire where the wire connects to the spark plug and that reading should be in K ohms and for the secondary circuit resistance I get 9.67 K ohms or um, 9,670 ohms. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.